I discovered MMA from a friend of mine at Taekwondo class. We were a little, we liked, we liked to spar hard and, and get rough and, and, and in Taekwondo you really don't do that, it's like points and all that. So we'd always spar hard and our uh, teacher at the time would let us do our own thing off to the side and we just liked it rough and tough and then that was 1993. Next thing I know this guy comes to me and he's like, Pyle, he's like, you gotta come over tonight. He's like, I just rented this video uh, it's called Ultimate Fighting Championship. I watched it last night. You're gonna love it. You have to come over. So we did, and uh, just trying to armbar each other on the living room floor, and that that was it. I was hooked. So the UFC one got me absolutely addicted to jujitsu. By the way, not just mixed martial arts, but jujitsu itself. So interesting and intrigued me so much. Um, Mike's probably one of the one of the most in my opinion, uh, one of the most gifted MMA guys you're going to meet from the feet to the floor. Like he, he knows it all. Um, he's, he's kind of an anomaly in the sense where I remember Mike almost being self-taught. Like he, he learned a lot on, on VHS tapes and had a little shed back, back in Tennessee when he'd get a couple buddies together and he would learn and, and work on stuff. So um, coming here, I was just done playing football. I think I was like 230 pounds. And, you know, obviously Mike fought at welterweight at, at 170. And I just, I just remember going with Mike the first time and then this guy just being so patient and uh, so calculated in everything he did. And, you know, here's me not understanding the, the fluidity of, of jujitsu and just trying to attack this guy and then constantly getting swept, constantly getting mounted, constantly getting submitted. And, and it just made me realize like, man, there's so much to this sport that I, I just have never really seen. And uh, I really gravitated to Mike, uh, his sarcasm, the way he approaches the game, his sense of humor, just everything about the guy is like a big brother to me. So um, definitely uh, owe a lot to Mike and where I'm at in my career now. You fought, you fought Rampage, was this your first pro fight? That's correct, that's correct. That's kind of, that's kind of crazy, right? Yeah, it's just, you know, it's, there are the rules and, you know, we didn't really have a commission and, and back in the day, this is a new sport, you know, and it's, we needed somebody to fight. He needed somebody to fight. I needed someone to fight. I found myself here in Vegas for two reasons, one for fighting and one for a woman. Okay. Uh, the woman didn't work out, but the fighting did. So uh, that's why I came out here. I knew that I wanted, I wanted to excel. I w at the time, I was living in Copenhagen, Denmark, where I was teaching uh, MMA there at a, at a, at a, uh, a gym called McKenta in uh, Albertslund, and basically in Copenhagen, Denmark. Uh, I started to get, I started to outgrow the place, right? I needed to, I needed to, to to move back home, get serious. And at the time I was seeing someone, you know, long distance and said to hell with it. She lived here in Vegas and uh, I needed to come to Vegas, you know, to fight capital. So that's what I did. I first, the, when, I, when I first got here, I was at JSEC, which is owned by um, John Lewis. So there were some killers in the room. You know, we had uh, Marvin Eastman, Marvin Eastman, unfortunately was my training partner uh, uh, quite often, and that was kind of scary. Uh, but, you know, it whipped me into fight shape and gave me some balls. Baddest guy on the planet. He, he gave me many beatings. He whooped everyone that would come in the gym. He would put a beating on. I mean, you, you could, back in the day, you could come into extreme and uh, just as an onlooker, you probably should bring some popcorn. So it was always a good show in there, always a good show. I mean, there's, name it, you got the who's who's that were just floating in. Uh, there'd be fights here in town, the coaches and everyone, everybody kind of, that's kind of a hub, you know? And we'd get some sparring in with different guys, get different looks and, you know, sometimes fights would break out. Uh, that's common. You got a lot of testosterone going on in the room at the time, right? And someone hit someone a little bit too hard and now we're, now we're fighting. But uh, we always were able to, make up and go have a beer after. So it was never. Favorite fight in my UFC career? Um, it had to be John Hathaway, probably. I liked that fight. That was, the game plan came together so, so good. And everything just kind of went, uh, went perfectly for me. It was just one of those nights, you know, good day at the office. You know, the level of being in UFC and to be able to stay in there for eight years or more, that, 
Uh, it was it was tough, you know, a lot of sacrifices. One is just your body, you know, you sacrifice your body constantly. Uh, you always have aches and pains that probably will always be with me, uh, but I signed up for that. Um, uh, you know, time away from the family sometimes was uh, necessary and needed to be able to get the training you know, if I traveled, you know, things like that. But overall, myself, I had to sacrifice a lot.